What's going on guys, Colton Mush back at it with top 5 PC hardware deals of the week. Some great deals this week as always, so let's just get right into this with number 5. Number 5 on the official HyperX website, you can pick up a HyperX Fury SSD. They have the 120GB and the 240GB models on sale right now. The 120GB is $48 and the 240GB is $77, which I think is one of the best deals I've seen on a 240GB SSD. The Fury by online benchmarks isn't as fast as some of the Samsung drives, but it is about $20 cheaper so i think the trade-off is worth it if you're looking for a budget and ssd the fury right now if you want to get the 120 gigabyte for 48 dollars that's a great deal and the 240 gigabyte for 77 dollars is also a fantastic deal so definitely check out the hyperx fury it's on kingston hyperx's official website check it out those are some great deals on some pretty good quality ssds number four on newegg right now you can pick up an evga 430 watt 80 plus certified power supply for 35 dollars and there's a 15 dollar mail-in rebate knocking this power supply's price down to 20 dollars now this is definitely not the kind of power supply Supply, I would put in a six or seven hundred dollar PC build but if you're getting a super budget end build where you're using a pretty low-end graphics card this 430 watt power supply might be able to get the job done for a very cheap price EVGA also has a great warranty policy so this power supply is gonna be great in a budget end build like a four hundred dollar build I would put this kind of power supply in if you're using something like an R7 260 a GTX 750 Ti something around there I think this 430 watt is gonna be perfect for number three also on Newegg right now you can pick up a Logitech G710 mechanical keyboard for $64. Now, this is refurbished, but for this kind of a price, a G710 for $64 is a crazy good deal. It's got six programmable keys and USB pass-through, so this is definitely a good keyboard. I know a lot of people are going to be off-put on the fact that it's refurbished, but by what I've seen from Newegg, if you do buy a refurbished product, usually it's near like new. So honestly, for $64, even though it is a refurbished keyboard, getting a mechanical keyboard for that kind of a price, and the G710 is really well-reviewed. So honestly, if you're not off-put by the fact that it's a refurbished keyboard, I would definitely check this out if you are in the market for a mechanical keyboard. Number two, some RAM. It's the G-Skill Ripjaws XU 16 gigabytes, 2 8 gigabyte sticks this is 1600 megahertz and it's only $75. Now the price of DDR3 RAM is just going lower and lower. I think this is the cheapest I've seen 16 gigabytes of RAM for and this is a really good price. Now for a lot of builds 16 gigabytes is going to be overkill but if you are building a rig that you want to do a lot of live streaming or editing in you're going to want 16 gigabytes and for $75 honestly this isn't that bad of a deal. About six to eight months ago eight gigabytes of RAM was near this price so it's great to see that you can pick up DDR3 RAM for this cheap now and this is some high quality stuff and 16 gigabytes is a really good amount to have it like i said if you are live streaming rendering all that kind of jazz finally number one which is a gpu that's been reappearing on this list is the msi geforce gtx 750 ti 2 gigabyte model for 110 dollars and there's a $20 mail-in rebate, knocking the price of this GPU down to $90 on Newegg right now. Honestly, the GTX 750 Ti is probably the best budget and video card on the market right now. And even though it's only $90 after the mail-in rebate, this GPU can run higher-end games like Battlefield, Witcher, Dying Light, Metal Gear Solid, all those games obviously not maxed out. But at medium to high settings, you will get 35 to 40 frames per second on even the higher-end games. And obviously, if you're picking up this GPU to play games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Dota, you'll be just fine. And the GTX 750 Ti right now is just a great budget end video card that if you have like an old HP computer you can just pick up the GTX 750 Ti and maybe get that 430 watt power supply and then boom you got a budget end gaming rig going right there so the GTX 750 Ti is just a great budget end GPU right now for only $90 after the mail-in rebate even without the mail-in rebate $110 for this GPU is still fairly decent so as always guys thanks for watching this video let me know if you pick up any of these deals in the comments section down below and if you have any requests for future videos leave them in the comments as well and as always guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.